I think the reason why I'm doing this has very little to do with Summer Blink. It has to do with an overall... Um, I think an overall looking the other way approach that has happened over the last year. And there, as somebody that is a avid sandbox defender, um, it's not just, it's just not Summer Blank. I think Summer Blank is definitely the name that's attached to it, but I think it's uh, an overall approach that CCP has adopted that I think at, at some point it has, it, it it's gone too far. I think that's. I think in in terms, it's it's just gone too far. So, uh, is Summer Blink the guy that's in the other side of the corner in the boxing ring with me? Um, I'd say it's. Yeah, I think that would be the guy that I would say that I'm not directly targeting, but is doing something to wreck the game that I play. And to say I took my stand, yeah, I drew the line in the sand, and um, it, it, and I've had enough. Uh, did it take me a while to wake up? Yeah, absolutely. Did it take me a while to actually grasp and, and comprehend what was happening? Yeah, uh, I'm slow on the uptake, but when somebody presents a case about um, what a group is doing to wreck the game, um, and that's the way I feel, I I am I'm not I'm not slow to then begin my fight and that's that's what I feel like I'm in and um, you can't you can't breach the contract you can't do something oh, arbitrary and capricious to go against what you set out as this is how we're going to do business Connecting. I'll call you on it every time CCP used to have very defined lines they used to be able to understand the difference between black and white and what's happened and what's made me make my stand and do this with my character me that's me i have my name right now in comms is my real name but that's me in this game that's my sandbox person that's who i am did i put him out there to be beheaded by the king yeah absolutely um did i know what i was doing yes there are calculated risks there are things that i'm going to do um, but I gotta say, I appreciate the efforts that are taking place. Um, but no one really knows what the line is because it's never been defined. And I think out of all of this, uh, I think out of what's taking place, the one thing is as EVE players and as a company that's providing this sandbox, um, I think that line is going to be defined. Um, and I think uh, knowing this company that I have put a lot of interest and stake in, um, I think they're going to make the right choice. I think they're going to protect what's important um, and realize their mistakes because they have a consistent behavior in doing that. Um, do they make mistakes? You know, God, we're human, yeah. Every business makes mistakes. You got people coming from serious gaming companies in the world playing and wanting to be part of your game. And you can't figure out what's special? You can't figure out what your product is? But you have people coming in and stealing something very, very unique. And the people that have been here the longest that, that filter down process, I call them EVE players. I don't call them gamers. I call them EVE players. It's who's here right now, by the way. That group of people are probably collectively more intelligent than your entire company. Don't look at the money. Look at a product. And I said this to Trevor. You know what my ultimate goal is? That when I turn, when I when I enter the point that they actually my kids put me in a nursing home, and this is going to sound really stupid to a lot of you young guys, but when I actually enter into a nursing home and they take me down to the recreational center to go play bingo or go play checkers, or go down there and talk about this, that, and the other, or do crossword puzzles or fucking uh, knitting and stitching, I hope that this game still exists. Because I'll say, no, give me an iPad 
because I know Unifex is working on that right now. Give me an iPad. Give me my smartphone. Give me a fucking laptop because I want to play EVE Online. Because that's how much fun this game is. That's how passionate I am about what they've created. And when I see somebody like Summer Blink play in the loopholes in the gray areas, and yeah, maybe I turned a blind eye to it. I don't know when the actual Blink credits came into existence. I don't play it because my dad taught me a long time ago about penny lotteries and, and all the fucking things that take place. I don't play it, but do I have guys in my corporation that play it? Yeah. When I saw them actually beginning to buy and manipulate and caress and destroy and create doubt in the company that I have so much belief in to do something so unique. That's why I sacrificed DNS Black. And to think that I didn't, you're crazy. Right? To think that I approached the line and I haven't actually begun the process, then you don't know me. And I'm fighting for that precious prize that's the sandbox. That's my hobby. That's my love that I actually do now. But I have a very rich and understanding life about what this, game's mean, this game means to me. What it means to DNS. What it means to an organization I started 20 years ago. And all of my guys know what that character I put out there on the chopping block not only means to me, but it means to the guys that are part of my group that are playing this game. None of them knew what I was going to do. Trevor didn't even know. My dad did, because we talked about it. And we put the pieces on the board and we moved them around. And that's how I'm approaching this. That's the uniqueness of what is going on here. That's why this is a watershed moment, not for CCP, but for the sandbox. CCP just doesn't know what they have.